Hello and welcome to Dell EMC Networking Infrastructure Solutions. This video discusses the deployment of the Dell EMC ICLON X210 with Dell EMC switches in a layer 2 and layer 3 leaf spine topology. Dell EMC ICLON is a network attached storage platform for high volume storage, backup and archiving of unstructured data. It provides a cluster based storage array. It comes with the 1FS operating system which uses a single volume, namespace and file system architecture. In this deployment, 4 S4048 ON switches are used as leaf switches and 2 Z9100 ON switches are used as spine switches. 1 S3048 ON is used as a management switch for out of band management of switches, servers and storage. The spine and leaf switches on rack 1 runs OS 10 whereas S4048 ON on rack 2 runs OS 9. S3048 ON runs OS 9 as well. In this deployment, the R730XD servers are used as compute nodes. Three Isilon nodes and two servers connect to each leaf pair. The Isilon nodes connect on a backend network through two infinity band switches creating a single six node cluster this video focuses on the isilon x210 deployment using layer 3 leaf spine topology and layer 2 leaf spine topology in a layer 3 leaf spine network the traffic between leaves and spines is routed in this example ebgp is used ospf can also be an option Equal cost multipath routing or ECMP is used to load balance traffic across the layer 3 network. Connections within racks from host to leaf switches are layer 2. The leaf switches are in VLT. The leaf switches connect to ICL on nodes and servers using port channels. For details on the design considerations, the naming of autonomous system numbers, point to point addressing, and loopback addressing refer to the deployment guide document. Initial configuration steps common for all switches in this deployment example include setting the host name, default gateway, and configuring the out of band management interface. Configure support for jumbo frames by setting the MTU to 9216. On the spine switches, the speed is set to 40 gig on the interfaces connecting to leaf switches. This applies to layer 2 and layer 3 deployment examples. Configure the point to point interfaces 1 through 4 and assign the IP address. Configure a loopback address, this will be used as a router ID while configuring BGP. Configure a root map and IP prefix list to redistribute connected interfaces. In spine switches, it redistributes the loopback addresses. The advertisement interval timers and fallover are defined in the template for neighbors. BGP hello and hold down timers are set to 3 and 9 seconds respectively. Neighbor fallover triggers route withdrawal when IP connectivity between BGP peers is lost. To configure BGP, assign autonomous system number to the spine switches. Here it is defined as 64601 and 64602. BGP best path AS path multipath relax command enables ECMP. The maximum paths eBGP2 command specifies the maximum number of parallel paths to a destination to add to the routing table. In this topology, there are two equal cost best paths from a spine to a host, one to each leaf that the host is connected. Configure BGP neighbor. The neighbors for these spine switches are leaf switches with ASN 64701 through 64704. Similar configuration is needed on spine 2.
Now we are configuring OS 10 on leaf 1. Change the spanning tree type to RSTP to prevent loops. Make leaf 1 as the root bridge by assigning a lower priority to it. Create VLAN for each Isilon subnet which also includes servers. Configure virtual router redundancy protocol to provide a secondary form of redundancy. Assign priority and virtual IP address. Port channels 1, 3 and 5 serve as connections to Isilon nodes whereas port channels 101 and 102 serve as connections to servers. Configure point-to-point -point ports 49 and 50 connected to spine by assigning the IP address. Configure a loopback address. This will be used as a router ID while configuring BGP. Ports 53 and 54 are used for VLT interconnect between S4048 leaf 1 and S4048 leaf 2 switches. Create VLT domain 127, add the backup destination, add ports 53 and 54, and enable VLT peer routing on each switch. Configure UFD. UFD shuts down specified downstream interfaces when all specified uplinks become disabled. Similar configuration is needed for BGP root map and IP prefix list. Enable LLDP and editize the parameters. LLDP is enabled by default on OS 10 but not on OS 9. Configure spanning tree RSTP to prevent loops. Assign priority to force leave 3 as the root bridge. Configure VLT domain 127, define peer link port channel 128, define the backup destination as leaf 4, define unit ID and enable peer routing. Port channel 128 is created for VLT, ports 53 and 54 are added to a static lag. Configure ports 1, 3, 5, 17, and 19. Define port channels and configure a symmetric flow control. Assign IP address to upstream point to point interfaces 49 and 50. Configure port channels 1, 3, 5, 101, and 102. Define it as an edge port. Ensure that VLT peer lag port channel command is issued. Configure VLAN 200 and add the port channels. Configure virtual router redundancy protocol to provide a secondary form of redundancy. Create a loopback interface to be used as the router ID and assign an IP address. Configure a root map and IP prefix list to redistribute all loopback addresses and leaf networks via BGP. Configure eBGP and define the neighbors. Configure UFD and assign port channels and ports 49 and 50. Configure ECMP group and add the ports 49 and 50. Validation includes commands for verifying the routing protocol eBGP. Run show IP route BGP. This command is used to verify the BGP routing entries in routing information base. Run show IP BGP summary. This command provides the state of BGP neighbors. This command is used to validate VLT. Run show VRRP brief to verify VRRP details. This command shows VLANs and its access and trunk ports. 
the tagged and untagged ports are displayed on OS 9. Run Spanning Tree Brief to check Spanning Tree details. Show Port Channel Summary which lists out the port channels, member ports and state. Use this command to check the UFD status on leaf switches. Run show IP BGP summary. This command provides the state of BGP neighbors. Run show IP route BGP. This command is used to verify the BGP routing entries in routing information base. Run similar commands across leaf and spine switches to validate the configurations. Refer to your switch user guide for other commands to validate the configurations. Let us look at layer 2 leaf spine example. In a layer 2 topology, the spine switches and the leaf switches are in VLT. Port channel 49 connects the leaf pair 1 and 2 with spines 1 and 2. Port channel 50 connects leaf pair 3 and 4 with spines 1 and 2. In rack 1, port channels 1, 3, 5 connects the Isilon node 1 through 3 to leaf pairs 1 and 2. Port channels 101 and 102 connect to server 1 and 2 to leaf pairs 1 and 2. In rack 2, port channels 1, 3, 5 connects the Isilon node 4 through 6 to leaf pairs 3 and 4. Port channels 101 and 102 Connect to server 3 and 4 to leaf pairs 3 and 4. Let us look at configuring switches in the layer 2 leaf spine topology. Configure RSTP to prevent loops and assign the priorities to 4 spine 1 as the root bridge. Configure VLAN 100 and 200. Create VRRP groups and assign a virtual IP. Configure port channels 49 and 50. Define the VLAN and use the VLT port channel command. Configure ports 1 through 4. Use LSCP to add these interfaces to respective port channels. Ports 31 and 32 are used as VLTI interconnects. Create VLT domain 127. Assign the backup destination as the VLT peer. Define peer routing and assign interfaces 31 and 32. Let's look at the configuration on leaf 1 running OS 10. Enable RSTP. Define VLAN 100 on leaf 1 and leaf 2 switches. Configure port channels 1, 3, 5, 101, 102. Define the VLAN VLT port channel and define it as edge port. Configure port channel 49. Add the VLAN and use VLT port channel command. Configure the ports 1, 3, 5, 17 and 19. Configure LSCP lag. Flow control is enabled by default on OS 10. Configure ports 49 and 50 and use LSCP to add these interfaces into port channel 49. Ports 53 and 54 are used for VLTI interconnect. Create VLT domain 127 and respective leaf switches as backup destination. Configure UFD and assign the upstream and downstream port channels. Enable LLDP and advertise the parameters. Enable RSTP to prevent loops. Configure VLT domain 127. Configure ports 135, 
17 and 19. Configure port channel 135, 101 and 102. Configure ports 49 and 50 and add it into port channel 50 using LSCP. Create VLAN 200 and add untagged port channels 1, 3, 5, 101, 102 and tag port channel 50. Configure UFD and add downstream port channels 1, 3, 5, 101, 102 and upstream port channel 50. This command shows status on the interfaces connected. Run spanning tree brief to verify the spanning tree details. Show port channel summary which list the port channels, member ports and state. Show LSCP port channel, interface port channel number, command to verify the details for port channel. Use this command to check the UFD status on leaf switches. This command shows VLANs and its attached tagged and untagged ports. Run similar commands across leaf and spine switches to validate the configurations. Refer to your switch user guide for additional commands to validate the configurations. Thank you for watching this video. Please visit support.dell.com for additional solution collateral.